And two more. Um, we're going to go ahead and finish up these two Slido questions. If you need to step out for a minute, uh, feel free to do that before we get started again for the afternoon. Uh, this first uh, question from online came, uh, came from Anonymous, so you know it's going to be hard hitting. Um, Michael Bolin. <laughs> Which set of new caps data provided more useful to the forecasters, the set from NPP or those from MEDOP? If you could use the mic, it would be great. Um, that's a good question. I would probably say those from NPP, just because it's more in the early afternoon. You have a little more daytime heating in those things. MEDOP was kind of you know, 10 to 11 a.m. Um, Forecasters use both of them. They like having seeing the uh, evolution of the atmosphere during that time. But I would say MPP is probably closer to the convective initiation time was probably used more often. And also MPP was a little bit more seemed to be a little have a little less uh, noise and some other errors that we found with uh, the med op returns as well. Okay, thank you. All right, and then the final question from the lunch period was uh, to Eric Stevens. Uh, how has NWS been able to communicate to the Alaska public the benefit of polar satellites? And I did post a brief reply to that with a, a web, link, web link to a video that we made. But in answer, we've done some. Um, the Weather Service in Alaska, believe it or not, has a statewide everyday half hour weather show that goes out on all public radio across Alaska. This is in fact the way the weather information is disseminated in much of the state. And uh, they have a six minute like canned, they play little science videos halfway through their show. And the Weather Service and the university, we've collaborated, we've made about 10 videos highlighting the use of satellite products in Alaska, like here are some things that are nice during fire weather season. So play those in the winter time or, or in the summertime, or in the winter you play something about sea ice. And, and we had a TED talk, I put, posted a link to that, I hope, that I don't know if it'll stick around, but it was intended for the general audience. And this, this question touches on a bit of a passion of mine, and that is, who paid for these billion dollar satellites? It's the American taxpayer, the general public. And ideally, they will be the end benefits of improved forecasts that will help them um, in their daily lives. And so I think we owe it to the people of this country to show them the awesome capabilities of these tools that their, their money has bought them. Thank you. All right, thank you, Eric. Um, any other questions uh, from the audience for this morning or for the lunchtime session? All right, then we will turn it back to Christy. All right, we're working really well with the schedule, so great job, everyone. <laughs>